Triton and I continue to skirt the Spooky Valley Meadow and we're headed for the areas where we saw the vultures uh, circling. We're hoping that we will catch or we will find a carcass of some sort to see if it's been uh, eaten by lions, bears, or possibly a Bigfoot. I heard something stumble over rocks back that way. Now, if I was going to surveil this meadow and remain hidden, that's where I'd be, it's up in there. There's been something running and moving really fast over there. definitely movement around us. I ge keep getting comments about why are you showing all of this all of these bushes? Well the answer is is we have participants from all over the world that are helping us look for Bigfoot. So we when we hear something in the bushes we turn the cameras on and it's up to you guys to help find them. Now this has worked out very well. Very many faces have been located and we've put them in our Bigfoot face database. And again, we don't care if they're squash blobs or blurry or whatever. It goes in the database so that we can look for, for matching faces from different times and different places. Because that's the only way you're going to eliminate the optical illusions. If you see a face and you want to include that in our database, take a freeze frame and uh, in the JPG format, uh, take the, uh, the frame from the uh, video so that we'll know exactly where to locate it and send us an email at chiefmonsterchaser at mogianmonster.com. Once we've verified it's there, it's going into our database. It would really help us out if you take the freeze frame and give us the frame number from where the, the freeze frame was taken care of. This will really speed things up. And, but if you just want people to verify that you've seen something in a certain spot, go ahead and just leave it in the comments and they'll let you know if they also see it. Thanks. Since we had uh, kind of a long hike to go, we didn't carry in the monopod and we can actually see the difference in the shakiness of the film. Um, we'll make it a point next time to carry the monopod so that this, the uh, video will be more stable. Oh, I'm over here at the first part of the apple orchard. And I see no apples. It means they may have dropped all the blossoms. Something's clacking a rock over there. It goes clack clack. Clack, clack. There it goes again. Clack, clack. Getting rock clacking coming from over here. If you listen, it goes clack clack.
As always, whenever I stop to take a closer look at something and divert my attention to that, Triton has got my back, watching for any movement out there in the bushes. Something moving in the bushes to my left. Oh, the rock clacking stopped. Well, evidently, there are people buried up here. Carolyn H. Cole, 1942 through 1988. Now this was probably one of the last inhabitants of this old abandoned homestead which included the apple tree orchard that was here. The ranch house or the homestead house was burned down a long time ago. Well, that's a nice place to be buried. Yep. Well, I'm standing here at the foot of the grave that we just found and I thought I'd show a panoramic view and show you what this uh, person is enjoying the scenery <laughs> up here in the midst of the apple trees probably why there's horse tracks coming